Hey everybody and welcome back to Nightbringer's Watch. I'm your host Fuck and tonight we are continuing our adventure in Hop. So last time we stopped here with this beautiful view and you see two of those creatures we uh, found in the beginning right before uh, this pus, pus plant uh, poisoned us and we lost our arm. And you see back there all over the place is this uh, corruption. Um, yeah, it's all over the place. It's spread throughout this this whole planet in which we play. Okay, so uh, last time we awoke, we got our sword, and we got our yeah, our robo arm. Hit it. We can open new are areas. Are areas. We got. Hmm. So we finished right at the point where we started the game. But today we are continuing in new areas. Okay, so first let's make our way back to our robo friend. Um, no, this is the way we originally come. And ah, yeah, we can't continue here, right? I forgot. So we climb up the stairs, and you hear. You hear this crying, right? This will be something we will uh, discover later in the game, and it will will uh, recur quite often, I think. Okay. Oh, and you see these are attacking us. Mean little corruption here. Okay, we are back here. And we can't go to this place. Though I like to, there's uh, another of these plant things where we can upgrade our life. And. Uh, where are we? Ah, here. We will pull this, this little rock to this place, so we do not need to run the full half circle. Ah, here I like to continue. Ah. Oh. Okay, so you saw the dying animation <laughs> of falling. Uh, press the wrong button there. But that should be no problem at all. Since it's been pretty close to where we um, open the safe spot. And here lies a robot. A dead one. And if we crash it. We can gather an energy core. Okay, and we can climb a bit faster. And... Where is our robot friend? Here it is. So I think... Way. Ah no, it's, it's this path. So, I apologize uh, in advance <laughs> for not finding the way. 
that, uh, that that will happen quite often since there's a lot to discover in this game. And yeah, you see, you see this thing, this machine here. This will come in handy later and will be a, a big part in the later game. And this one, this, this also. This chamber is some kind of teleportation chamber. But since we only discovered this one, we can't travel anywhere. So we go through here. Open the stash. And we want on these creatures. They are friendly and oh. Let us open this part. So we are back here. And there are lots and lots of shortcuts we will open in this game. And where can we go to? This is the beginning. Can we open these doors? Let's find out. Here's another wall we can crush it. And with this, we can make our way over the pass. And now, we're behind it. safe spot and we would climb up here for another stash and if I remember it correctly oh, no. I remember it wrong we can't go further to the right and here's our next enemy Not that hard to fight. Oh! We are... We are watched. By some creature. So, up here? There's nothing. We can't go... Can't go there. And up there is a butterfly, which we collected last time. One off. And you see it on the map with this moth-like symbol. Ah, here's another one. Those big creatures, which we easily got last time. Go way up here. And to this place. These are um, buttons we can't press right now. For this, we need another glove upgrade. And we can't make our way quite to the place where we. where this creature had been that watched us fight those little things. What, what's this? These are also friendly, we don't need to attack these. But 
Look, here's another safe spot. And I think we don't need to be here right now. But let's discover it. Yeah, this is a point for for much much later in the game. We can descend here. We make our way around. And here are many of those fiendish little, little creatures. And some bigger ones. We want to heal up because this fight's quite tough. In the early. Although, these big creatures will also become common enemies later in the game. And they are quite tough. And as you can see, they can easily one shot us. We can beat it now, but I don't think there's anything in us uh, in, for, in for us for now late in the game when we have uh, far more abilities uh, increased health and energy bars we won't have any problems in dealing with these bigger creatures Cut our way through to the stash. Yeah, more walls to crash through. Another treasure. Um, not much behind breaking this part, but hey, why not? And here's the, the part we discovered earlier. As you can see, everything's connected in here. We can sneak up behind this one for an easy advantage. And since this is our sec piece, we can increase our health. There you go. Four health parts. And we, here we have something different. We found a, a schematic for the Sprite Cloak. This is the first part uh, we need to uh, find to upgrade our, our cloaks. And since we collected some orbs, let's head into the base to look if we can upgrade our abilities. Up here, down here. And into this one. There's the cinematic for the sprite clock, and you see we uh, need the butterflies as well as these green orbs. So for now, I think I want to take the sword thrust. So if we run, we do a little dash. 
And with this, we can uh, shorten the distance with a uh, light charge attack to the enemies. Okay, so let's head back where we left off. If I found the way, that is. We can't get in there by now. But I think we can. Get back here. We discovered something that looks like a wasted plane. And you hear the thunder in the background, right? These lightnings. That's a common theme in this area. Oh. And here's another teleportation chamber. And since we have two, now we can start to teleport, but I don't think we want to do this right now. Let's discover the area. Hoping that we don't get hit by the lightning. And here, we can crash through. Oh, wrong button. And there's a... Ah. Uh, battery thing. Can we? No, that's nothing we should do. And with this, we activated a part of the area. Brought energy to this one. And you see one of those devices we saw earlier at the place where our robot friend waits. These enemies, they are buried in the, in the ground everywhere. We can, can we drop down here? Yeah. Okay. And to the left. And now we can climb up here. And if you have not found this place where we crashed through earlier, um, you could see, you could get a hint um, in here if you drop through this hole. You see in the background there's a place you can go, there's a button which we press where the energy uh, so it came out from uh, with which we activated this part and back here is another non-living robot and another energy core so nothing's up here so let's jump down Now we're going in this area is to empower these things. With them we can traverse through unharmed through the area and reach new platforms. Oh. Wild little creatures here. We can't go through this, we first need to deactivate this 
but it does not only damage us, it also damages our enemies. So we can try to lure them through the electricity. And as you can see, it's quite handy. Oh. Close. So let's go through here. Where we open the portal and this enemy is not this easy. We we can't damage it with our sword attacks. First we have to crack it. Open the shell. Then we can get in our hits. Oh, we can't traverse this place here, or we get electrocuted, which we want don't want to, right? Come here. Uh, if you have no no charge left, I th oh, I think you can let them run to the wall. And with this, they are also breaking their shell. Okay, done with this. Oh. Oh. It's easy to dodge the lightning there. Oh. They are so tall by this. These blue shimmering on the ground. That energy cell. So spread corruption, there's a dead end. Here, up here. Whoa. Nope, not through there, but up here. Up this ladder. Ooh. And you see, there's always a border if you oh, traverse from one place to another. At one there's lush green and at the other place yeah that's some wasteland. And these borders give a big hint that there are always some parts of this planet and they're like like little pieces stuck together to create a whole world. And here we have a button we can press with, a, with another energy cell. And we bring it back to this place to the slot. Okay, back up here. And down here. Oh. Okay. Oh, more of them. Shortcuts. And let's descend into this cave. Oh. Okay, I'm still alive. 
somehow. Oh! Hello! Okay, can we get back up there? I don't think so. So? Oh! Okay, start back here. So let's jump this time. Make our way around this circle. Jump here. And we drop down the ladder. Ooh. Oh, that's a friendly creature. Good thing we didn't, didn't harm it. Okay. And another upgrade system. This upgrade we can use these. Well, we'll see what this is. We pull this lever, with which just part the sense. And now. How do you use it again? Ah, yeah. It's some teleport system. And we turn it around. To Trevor's father. In this caves. Don't drop. Press this button, and you hear this, this very loud, loud ticking. That's the timer. If we are not quick enough, it will vanish, and we have to do the whole thing again. And use this part, and then we are back to the beginning. Ah, okay. So there we could have could have gone to the robot. Okay. We made ourselves another shortcut. And with this, we'll end the episode. Thank you all for watching, for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!